All right, I'm recording. So, um, June 30th, end of the month. Um, I'm actually going to be working a little bit today. Not um, because I am like trying to hit some big gigantic goal, but because I want to set myself up for success next month and I don't have anything else to be doing today. So I might as well create some habits that stick for the next month too. And, um, and be a little consistent, um, and do some follow-ups from some things and just get people supercharged for this next month. So I just got the di literally just got the diamond insider in my email, um, which is an email that we get. If you are diamond and above rank, then they send out a little sneak peek of what's to come for the upcoming month. And what's cool about that is you kind of get an inside look and kind of get the ability to like kind of plan out your month a little bit in advance. So today, some things that I'm doing, I am finishing up our images for our um, team recognition from this past month with Summit. Um, I've just honestly not even had time to, to finish that. This is why I need an assistant so I can have somebody else to do those things for me. Um, so I'm going to work on making a calendar for July as well. Um, and I just wanted to touch on a couple things that have come through the Insider just to give you guys a heads up. Um, so this next month, all of the Lift 4 and May Stay Mass bundles are $10 off, continuing until the end of the month. So, um, so a really good chance to help people get started with Lift 4. Um, for any of our Hispanic um, clientele, our Spanish-speaking buddies, then May de Mas would be a really good one for them to try. And they can actually try that as well, kind of like the Lift 4 thing. They can go in and just try the workout. So um, if you have any friends who speak Spanish, primarily speak Spanish, um, or you know somebody who maybe speaks a little bit of Spanish and you want to use them as kind of a tester, test out this workout and tell me what you think, um, then maybe try that, get some good feedback. Um, from what I understand, it's a month of like, it's, I'm, I don't want to say it's like 21 day fix, but it's like 30 minute workouts and it works you through the program. And, um, and then I believe she's, they're all rec pre previously recorded workouts. Cause I know she's like eight months pregnant. Um, so I know she's not going to be doing them live. Um, but anyway, she, unless they've recorded them previously, but anyway, um, 30, 30 days, um, focusing on balance, consistency and creating habits that stick for a lifetime. So May Stay Mas is, um, that's what that is all about. 10 bucks off all of those bundles. Um, July 1st tomorrow kicks off the beat your best pro like program thingy that Beachbody is doing. And basically it's a beat your best success club points, beat your best like coach recruiting um, for the entire month. And then if you do that, if you achieve that, then you get some sort of a prize. I haven't even looked um, to see what that is yet. Um, and I don't know if you guys have seen the images, um, but we are doing a new success club like tiered reward system so like if you hit success club in the first month you get like a hat if you hit success club in like the second month you get the hat and the tank top and then the third month you get like the hat the tank top and the bag or something so they're doing um this new tiered success club system um that kind of is incentive to continue to like reach your goals and um and in order to get the bag like you've got to get month one and month two otherwise you just get like you know for the months that you qualify and you don't get like if you hit success club like you don't get the hat like every month if you don't do anything else like you only get one one prize um so be your best um SC5 or higher beats their previous personal best by and by at least one personally sponsored coach who qualifies 
will win a star medal. So you'll get a medal if you, everybody gets a trophy. Everybody gets a medal for um, beating your best with the success club. So, um, so if you're not sure how to do that, go back into your back office to figure out what your success club points are. You click on the success club and then you can go through and you can scroll through your previous success club points and see what your best is. So that puts my success club goal for the month at SC30 for myself and SC eight for my husband. So I got to get to work. Um, so that is what my goal is going to be for the month. And my goal is to, I don't know what my, the amount of coaches that I've signed in one month is, and they probably haven't all been active by any means, but, um, Oh Jesus, there's a cat on my porch. Sorry. <laughs> like we don't have a cat. What the hell? Get out of here. Weirdo. I don't like cats. That just scared the crap out of me. No, dude, no. Um, it's like rubbing on me. Ugh. You're like a mangy, weird cat. I don't want your... Go get some water and just spread some water at it. It's like Let the dog out. I need to. It's scratching on my back. <laughs> oh, Lordy. He probably would eat it, though. Get out of here, dude. Um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry for swearing if your kids are around um so so coaches um I think I'm going to push for recruiting 10 coaches this month <sighs> deep breaths but we can do this and I, what I love about when they do these little promos and challenges and stuff is that it really just challenges us to get out of our comfort zone and to push a little harder. And, um, and that's something I wanted to talk a little bit about on the call today um, and dive into here in just a minute. Um, but getting uncomfortable is one of the first things that we can do to see our business grow. Um, let's see, new Super Saturday is July 7th. If you can get to one, go get to one. Um, I know Sarah's going to Chicago because I think Joel is going to be there. She's going to go like take cheesy selfies with Joel and just get really excited I'm about it. Total fangirl. <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to unmute yourself. I'm like, what, where, what can I say to get her to unmute? Um, <laughs> I look for any excuse to use that picture. Mm -hmm. Like, hold on. Do you want to see that picture? <laughs> My husband totally called me out on it. He's like, what are you posting pictures of this guy for? I was like, I like this guy. I like to work out with this guy. Don't hate me for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd go to Chicago for Joel. Would you? Yeah. It's sold out. We're going, we're going to be out in Northern Virginia. Oh. Where Jatana Jackson is. <laughs> oh, Legina. Sorry about that face I just made. <laughs> Legina. Oh, can you hear my kids? What's a Legina? Stop. It, it's her name. <laughs> <laughs> That'll happen. That was weird. That was cool. That was weird. <laughs> okay. I got to mute. I got to mute. Well, good luck if you go to that one, if you go to Vagina's Super Saturday. Oh, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm going to find a coffee shop or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, super Saturday. Can't do it. It's a really great chance. So for us in St. Louis, we're really – there's a lot of people um, locally that didn't make it to Summit, so we're just really – <laughs> excuse me, pushing for those people to come to Super Saturday because, you know, if you can't get to Summit and you want the environment and all of that stuff and you, you know, there's a lot of people locally that are like, man, I couldn't make it to Summit. We're like, dude, come to Super Saturday because you can still use that to show people that like I'm part of a community. I'm part of something bigger. Um, you know, take selfies with a bunch of people that are there that you don't know. And that's what we do anyway. So, um, so get to Super Saturday if you can. Um, you know, just because of that whole community vibe um, is really, really awesome. The summit tickets are on sale until July 9th. Um, 
if you hit success club, your first full three months in this business, you get a free one. Um, Caitlin, you got this. You got this. I got it. I'm not, not buying it. my ticket yet. I'm banking on July. Ninth. I got this. You got until the ninth to get your free ticket. And I don't doubt that you'll be there. I mean, I don't like, I know that you'll get there. So, Wait, the ninth? What are you talking about the ninth? You hit success club. Cause that's like the free, the, the ticket prices go up after July 9th. Oh, it's fine. But well, I know, but you'll get, you'll hit success club before then, and then you'll get your free ticket. So you won't even It'll need to worry about the change in the prices. Boom. Done. That'd be great. So, um, <laughs> and then I think the prices go up to like 195 or something ridiculous. So it jumps up a lot. So anyone who hasn't got a summit ticket yet, I strongly recommend getting one within this next week. Um, and 130 bucks, that's like two and a half challenge packs. So you can technically get it paid for yourself if you just sign up a couple people in the first week of the month. Easier said than done, maybe, but if we're pushing for lift four and we're having conversations and we're talking to people and we're doing a coach sneak peek like we should be doing, right? This next week, we should really be doing a coach sneak peek. July 9th, we're going to start a new coach training because we're not going to start one the week of 4th of July. That's just going to be a hot mess. And July 16th is um, going to be the kickoff of lift four, the like live workout. So I am personally doing self-promotion coaching stuff for the next week. Um, I'm going to be out of town all week next week at my in-laws in Farina. So Tuesday through Friday, I'm going to be there. And then Saturday, super Saturday. And then I'm going back there Saturday night and Sunday. So I'm working with very little internet access and probably primarily from my phone. So I may be a little disconnected next week. Um, but I'm also going to show that, you know what? I don't need to have a huge fancy office and all of the technology to work my business. I can completely do it from my phone and all of that. Yeah, I'll probably schedule a lot of my posts out this weekend. So that's something I don't have to worry about as much next week um, for my challenge groups and stuff. But just staying connected, um, but still allowing yourself the freedom to enjoy your family and your business and or your family and not like your business, like your you know, your life, your business, um, your business, your business. Um, and, and to keep it separate and still, um, have that kind of balance. So, um, one thing that one big takeaway for me from summit was, I can't remember who it was that was talking about it, but they were talking about how there's a lot of ways to overcomplicate this business for a lot of people where we can say like, oh my gosh, well, you have to, you know, do this. And then you have to do all these groups on Facebook. Then you have to sign these people. And then there's this rank thing. And then there's the income. And we can like really overcomplicate that side of it. Or we can just basically say, hey, like I work out and I share my journey and I invite people to join me along the way. And if I have friends that join me, great. And that's how I build my business and keeping it extremely simple and very like, <laughs> this is it. Like, this is the bare bones of it. Like even on my worst days when I don't get any work done, I'm still showing up for myself and sharing with people that like, you know what, even on my worst days, even on days when I don't think I can work this business, I just know that like getting my workout done and making myself a priority is so important. And that fuels me forward. That propels me forward. And that allows me to have a better mindset, not only to give to my people, but to give to my family and to in turn feel a lot better about myself. So, um, so at the very like bottom line of like talking to somebody about coaching, um, that's like the, one of the biggest things we can give them as a takeaway is like, you don't have to be this huge business guru. You don't have to know how to like sell anything really. And, and in fact, we don't put any like pressure on how much you have to sell when you come into this business. It's, you know what, like do the thing if you want to do the thing. And if you don't want to do the thing, cool. Like just take care of yourself and love it and trust the process and be awesome anyway. So, um, so just, you know, that takeaway for people, it's keeping it extremely simple. Um, I think that's what, what we should do. And we always default back to the four vital behaviors because that's when I'm struggling in my business, when I'm like, gosh, I just, I don't feel like I'm, you know, this, I, you know, I have all these goals and this isn't happening and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I, I just need to go back to the basics. I need to go back to how many conversations am I having? How many people am I talking to? 
Am I being truly genuine about what I'm sharing? Am I sharing anything? Because if I'm like ghosting on social media, I can't expect anybody to know what I'm doing. And then second of all, if I'm not having any conversations, how the heck am I going to expect people to join me if I'm not at least talking to somebody? And, and that doesn't mean I'm sending out 25 invites every day. That just means that I'm like talking to people, engaging with people through my posts and things like that. So um, very, very back to basics. Um, I know Sarah just... Sarah had recommended this. I'm just starting this today. Um, in addition to finishing um, Grace, Not Perfection. And then um, I kind of want to dive into a book this month, maybe together as a team. God, this cat, dude, come on, get out of here. Don't, now it's like meowing at me. My, I want to let my dog out because I'm afraid he's going to like knock over the table. And I don't know if he's here or not. And I don't want to like deal with cat blood all over the porch. Um, not a cat person. Totally wouldn't care if that happened. Sorry. <laughs> Get out of here, cat. Like you shouldn't be in my yard with a great day. Um, so, um, so I'm looking for suggestions. If anyone wants to throw some books out there, um, I love, I was thinking of doing more of a leadership type book. I really love the energy bus and I really love the go-giver. Um, so, and I have the go-giver. I don't have the energy bus. Um, but, you know, I think we, well, I, yeah. Okay. Looking at the time. Um, okay. So leadership um, is not something that always comes naturally to a lot of us. Um, Sometimes it takes some time, sometimes it takes some work, and sometimes it takes a little bit of boost in our own personal confidence to say, you know what, I am capable of more. I am capable of growing a team, building a business, um, doing more, and, you know, and taking my business to the next level. And, um, and I struggled with that very, very frequently the first year and a half in my business. And, um, and I really had to throw myself into a lot more leadership books and stuff like that. Um, you can, yeah. just hold on, guys. No, no. <laughs> oh, Lord. Guys, can you let, the, hold on, my kid's just, she's like clawing at his face. <laughs> hold on. Oh, my God. Glenn, <laughs> Henry James, don't just hold it, you can eat it too.
Okay, sorry guys. Um, is it alive? It's alive. Yeah, he didn't attack it. He just barked at it, like, and it just continued to like. I mean, great games are not. They're not ferocious beasts. No, he's not like. I, I think like if if it were a squirrel, he might try to eat it. My, I grabbed the broom and like chased it. it he had it cornered in the porch, and I'm like chasing it off the porch. With the broom. It's out of the fence now. Um, oh my God. <laughs> I had it cornered and it. It's declawed, but it was like hissing and trying to attack him. And now my kids are out there with, they're like, we'll get it. We'll chase it out of the yard with the broom. I'm like, all right, guys. Oh, oh man. Anyway, um, back to, back to where I was with leadership. So, um, so, you know, continuing to just do this and then just inviting, are you okay? others to do the same is same thing with challengers and new potential coaches. Um, that's, that's where we're going to build. This um, and I think sometimes a leadership book takes a little bit of like edge off of the struggle. Um, you know, embracing some quality, like, and again, Energy Bus, Go Giver are two really good ones for that. So if anybody wants to do, wants to read through them together. Um, and those are kind of like beginner um, leadership type books. And they're re really, really great. Not a difficult read. Um, <clears throat> and that would be a good something to read like this month together. Um, but, you know, if anyone, if anyone was on the Josh Coates call the other night, um, or listen to the webinar, he threw out some amazing nuggets of just incredible, like, um, leadership type stuff. But I'll, in addition to that, like, he talked about, you know, we all go to Summit, we all, you know, listen to these trainings, we listen to the post Summit trainings. And there's, you know, 45 amazing coaches that are at the tip top of the company that share all of these things that work for them. And we come home with these notebooks full of ideas and start trying to say, okay, so I definitely need to start using Linktree and I definitely need to do more with my Insta stories and I need to run Facebook ads and I need to post more on my like page and I need to share a little bit more of this and I need to talk about this. I need to do podcasts. I need to do, you know, and we have a list of 57 new things to implement. And he's like, no, 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 no. What is one or two tweaks I can make in my business to improve, but not overhaul and change the whole thing? Reinventing the wheel is exhausting. It's terrifying. It's daunting. So that's not something we should be doing with our business. We should be making a couple tweaks here and there. Um, but we haven't been consistent enough in our business in the first place to need to overhaul things. He's like, you know, all these coaches all the time are like, I need to revamp my coach training. And I've done that. I've done that tons of times. You guys that have been on the team for a long time, you're like, Ashley, stop trying to redo the new coach training. But you know, you, you think about some insecurities that you have me personally, like I have struggled with recruiting coaches and then like, am I not doing enough for them? Am I not being enough of a support system? Do I need to do more? Do I need to do more one-on-one -on -one calls? Do I need to, you know, and but I personally don't want my upline in my face all the time going, what are you doing? Are you talking to people? Are you having conversations? Are you checking in with your challengers? Are you, you know, following up with your emails? How are you doing with your leads? How are you, you know, and like, that's annoying, right? So I don't want to do that. I don't want to be an overbearing coach to my coaches, but I want to be enough of a support system for them to know that like, you have all the tools you need. You can figure it out on your own. You don't have to, I can help you, but you know, we have to create a healthy balance. And, um, and I've thought about that in the past where I've tried to revamp and redo and reinvent the wheel. And I'm like, who am I really doing this for? Am I doing it for my team? Am I doing it for myself just so I can like feel better about myself? Um, or am I doing it for the new coaches that I'm not currently recruiting? So why do I need to have a new coach training if I'm not recruiting anybody to it? Right? So what are the things I need to do? Well, I need to recruit coaches and we figure it out. Like those of you that are new, a lot of times you figure it out. And that's, I was a self-starter and I was like, I need to just, I need to just figure it out on my own. Like I, sometimes 
a training is nice, listening to an hour long call is great, checking in, printing out a tracker, doing all the things, you know, that's great. It gives me structure, but sometimes I just need to go in and I need to Google, like, how do I sign my spouse? Or I need to Google, like, how do I do this? And, and that's okay. And I encourage you to do that. And actually I encourage a lot of my new coaches to do that. Um, because it helps you learn the steps in building a business. It should be a little bit of a stumbling block. It should be a little bit of a, like, I got to figure this out. I got to figure out what works best for me. Because if, if <laughs> vagina Jackson tells all of us how to do Insta stories and we all do our Insta stories like her, then we're all going to look like <laughs> But if we do our own thing and we say like, you know what, what that person does is great for them. I need to do what works for me and I need to figure out what the best way to build and grow my business is for myself. And sometimes that means I have to stumble through a couple different trainings. Sometimes that means I need to, um, you know, listen to a few hour long calls from Melanie Mitro from 2007. And sometimes I need to do some very simple, like sit down with a notebook, write out 10 things that I need to get mm -hmm. done today and start checking them off the list. So, um, so as far as like revamping, redoing, overhauling anything, just basic business steps is what we all need to be focusing on. And that is, you know, we find the people, we bring them into the group, we make them feel welcome. We encourage their, their, their journey, their, you know, everything that they're doing, we be a support system in any way that we can, whether that's saying like, Hey girl, um, just wanted to welcome you to the team. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Or, um, Hey girl, I saw that you're new in our accountability group. So excited to have you here. What are you, what program are you doing? And we do this as a team. Um, so something else I wanted to just, just touch on real quick was doing more of this as a team, doing more accountability as a team. Um, and you know, we can all completely individually run our own groups and that is wonderful. That is great. I love that. I love the idea of diving in and going head first and like, I want to run my own challenge group. I want to do all that stuff. Great. Please do. Um, but if that's something that you struggle with, if that's something like, you know, if you struggle with engagement in your challenge groups, if you struggle with, um, you know, I feel like nobody's checking in. I feel like I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to post every day. Then we do it together. Then we run a together group. Then we have an entire community tribe of everybody together. And when we bring somebody in, we welcome them in and we all together say, Hey, like these are your coaches in here. Like these are the people that you can rely on to help, you know, answer any questions you have check in every day. Um, check in with any of us and we we check on each other's people. We answer each other's people's questions You know, we provide support we post meal plans. We post recipes. We do a community tribe type thing So that's not something that we've ever really done before as a team, but it's something that Can take a lot of stress off of us individually to say like well, I have to run a 2B mindset group this month and I have to run a challenge group this month. I have to do a lift four group this month and I have to do, and it seems very overwhelming. And that's where coach burnout happens. When you feel like you're trying to invite to three different things, when you feel like the people that you have aren't checking in, um, you know, and then you're like, am I not coaching them enough? Do I need to be more, you know, do I need to be more in their face? Um, and it's, it can be very overwhelming. So I wanted to put that out there today. Um, for anybody who's interested in doing that or co-running groups together or joining up current groups and just making a big mass group. Um, and, and you, I see it in my groups. I'll have somebody new come in and she'll ask like, Hey, what program do you guys do? Like, I'm just getting started. I'm not really sure where I want to start. Give me some suggestions. And then like veterans from, you know, a year, a year and a half ago, will share some of their stories on some programs that they've done and stuff like that. And that's really helpful because they may not even be coaches on the team, but they're still there showing up and supporting other people. And those kind of people are the ones that kind of rise from the ashes and are like, hey man, like, why are you not coaching on our team? You're doing things in the group and you're supporting other people and you're, you know, and those become really great coaches too. So just, um, just to throw that out there today, um, if that's something that you guys, 
you know, want to do, or if you want to think about doing or anything like that, um, we can definitely get a group started up. Um, I don't know that I want to recreate you know, new groups and stuff like that, but we can definitely turn some groups into, or we can link groups together and stuff like that. So, um, so just the additional support is, um, is nice. This month I'm actually going to work on a brand new, um, kind of like a document that we can send people like a generic, like this is what the, you know, container system looks like. This is how to figure out what you need to eat. This is a blank meal plan template. This is like a, you know, one month, three month, six month goal tracker kind of thing that you can set your goals. Um, this is the resources for finding on demand, for finding the, on the blog recipes for, um, you know, to be mindset stuff. And this is where you can go for support. This is, you know, our community support page. This is our, you know, whatever else that is. So, um, so if anybody has anything they want to contribute to that um, or any suggestions for that, please let me know. Um, I don't have a ton more to chat about today. Um, I want to shout out Amanda because I know she's on and she just finished 80 Day Obsession. Girlfriend, you look amazing. Holy cow. Congratulations. <laughs> You're muted. Thanks, guys. I, am I think I'm unmuted? Yep, you're Sorry. Yeah, you're good. We're in the car. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, accomplished. Mm -hmm. Finally. I didn't think it was going to end at some points, but I'm, I'm glad it's over, but I'm glad I did it. So. Did you cry? Huh? Did you cry? Almost. Maybe a little <laughs> tear. <laughs> I tried not to because my husband... He's going to make fun of me if I say I did. <laughs> I totally cried. Yeah. It's like, I'm not ready for it to be over, but I'm starting lift four on Monday, so I am ready for it to be over at the same time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, that's a, that's one of the, I, well, probably the hardest program I've ever done. Just keeping that long in those workouts. They're long. I mean, God bless, they're long, so. Yeah. Very proud of you, girl. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. And congrats on Emerald and SC10 this month. That's huge, dude. Woohoo! It's amazing what you do just by posting what you are doing. <laughs> I know. That's exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, so I'm going to come up with a calendar for this month. Um, July 16th is when, um, July 16th is when the, um, lift for launch really starts. So some things to do for that, for the next couple weeks, really just focus on, you know, obviously do the before lift for workouts, share a little bit of that, probably aim to do a couple series of Insta stories each week. Um, I did one last night. Um, for the workout at 10 today, if you want to go in and you can use, look at, share, whatever my Insta stories, um, if that's something that, um, that you want to do. I, I tried to keep it real simple last night with, I just did like, what are you doing at 10 AM? I did, I think I did six images. Um, you know, this is what you do. And then here's the details. Send me more, you know, and I did a poll, like, yes, I went in or send me more info. And I had one person say, yes, send me more info. And then she messaged me and said, sorry, I didn't mean to click that. So, you know, there's that. So. Come on, that's such a load of garbage. I'm so sick of people being like, oh, I was just clicking through fast and I clicked one. Come on, no, you didn't. I'm, so whenever people message me that, I message them back and be like, maybe the universe is telling you that you did. So here's the link <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Because I'm like, what's the worst thing that can happen? They don't do it. They weren't planning on doing it anyway. What if they do and they love it? And then they're like, all right, girlfriend, tell me more. So, <sighs> so I'm like, the universe has your back and you totally are meant to do this workout. It's fate. You're welcome. So uh -huh. um, same thing with coaching. Like when they click, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to click. And I'm like, maybe you did. Maybe you secretly want to be on our team because you really want to rock out an awesome transformation and live a badass life. So uh -huh. um here you go. Here's the link. Um, so probably aim to do, so Wednesdays, 
I've noticed like Wednesday nights are a really good night to do a series of Insta stories. Um, if you're a mom and you stay home um, on Friday nights, Friday nights are sometimes a good one because what are you doing at home when you're a mom? You're scrolling Instagram at like 10 p.m. on a Friday night instead of going out clubbing with your friends, right? Um, I mean, let's hope not anyway. Um, but no judgment, of course. No judgment. If you're no. going clubbing. No judgment. Good for you. No judgment. <laughs> that, was, that was as an indie. Um, <laughs> um, so Saturday, because I... I like to look at Instagram Saturday mornings too, scroll Instagram stories. So late, I usually post my stories like late at night, like 10 PM. So that way they're up for the entire next day and people see it first thing in the morning. Sunday nights is a really good night to do that too. So, um, so I would probably just continue to promote for lift for this week. We're going to promote for, um, recruit for coaching. Um, so aim to do a series of Insta stories about that too. Aim to do a post or two about coaching or three or five or mention something every single day about being a coach and what coaching has done for you. Um, I've told this story before, but um, I've, I was in a training group with some higher ups in the dream team. And um, one of the challenges for the month was we went into that training with, you know, a goal to build our business to the next level. And um, one of the coaches said, every single day, you're going to talk about coaching. No ifs, ands, or buts. If you want to be part of this training every single day, you are going to post something about being a coach. It doesn't have to be an invite to a coaching opportunity every single day. In fact, she's like, please don't do that. And I, I would say the same thing. Like don't every day, who wants to join my team? Because every day people would be like, ee, that's too much. But Every single day, mention something about what coaching has done for you, whether it's, you know, it's helped you stay accountable, it's helped pay your bills for the month, it's helped you learn better nutrition, it's helped you be more confident, it's helped you connect with an amazing tribe of women, it's helped you, you know, you've traveled here, you've done this, you've done that, but things that coaching has done for you, something every single day. Um, I've posted something before about writing out 30 things about what you love about coaching and, and do that if you haven't done it yet. And then every single day, take one of those 30 things and turn it into a post. And that way you have ideas for the month and you're not struggling with something to come up with every day. So, um, so I would really encourage for the month of July, hundred days of brave. I'm doing it. Um, doing something scary every day, challenging yourself to be a little bit braver, to be a little bit stronger, to be a little bit more encouraging, inspirational, motivational, whatever those things are. Um, but step out of that comfort zone. No growth happens in comfort zones. Um, so know that even if you have a month where you don't sign any coaches and nobody's interested, that's okay. I have those months all the time. I signed one coach this past month who was a friend of mine who signed up as a discount and that's it. So that's okay. We're not always going to recruit 15 coaches a month or one coach a month or a hundred challengers a month. But if we don't share, if we don't plant the seeds, we'll never know. And if we don't ask, like old girl from Instagram yesterday, who I just saw is now a coach, she's not on our team because I never followed up with her. She signed up with somebody else. And I'm like, ah, we were just talking about coaching last month and I never followed up with her. And now she's a coach this month and she didn't sign up with me. So talk about it. Ask, have the conversations. If you don't ask, you'll never know. So um, let's get real uncomfortable this month. Let's beat our best. Um, let's do it. Lift four is going to be amazing guys. Balance, holy balance. How many of us are just like ready for not an hour long workout every day of the week or anything, <laughs> right? Like just balance. And what's really cool about those other three days off is that like we can share some things on those days off that like we're doing to stay active, you know? Like today I took my kids to the park. Today we went for a bike ride. Today we went for a walk around the neighborhood. Like enjoying the simple pleasures of summer. Like and sharing that like I'm not killing myself in the gym every day for an hour and a half, you know? I'm not getting up at I can sleep in. I don't have to get up and work out at 6 a.m., you know? Like little things like that 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 are exciting, um, share those parts of the journey because um, that's where we really connect with people is over the emotion and the feeling. And when someone can see themselves in your situation or in your shoes and say, you know what, like 
I, I can do 30 minutes, four days a week. I can do accountability. I can totally help like three of my friends, like get started on a fitness journey when they can see themselves in your shoes because you're doing such a good job of sharing what you're doing, then that's where you see your business grow. Um, I set some pretty big goals the other day with my goal worksheet and I put five star elite on there and that's very scary. Um, and I want to take this team to the next level, but I can't do it by myself. And I'm asking you guys trust the process and we do this together and we work together as a team and we push for bigger goals and we put diamond on that vision board and we say that's going to happen this year because it's going to happen. And it can happen in 60 days. It can happen in 90 days. It can happen before the end of the summer. We have really amazing opportunities for us to build and grow our business right now. And there's so much excitement coming. Pumpkin Spice Shakeology is coming. Sean T's new program is coming in January. Like, we got to get people set up for that in January. Did you just go like this, Ugh, Caitlin? You know, like Sean T. Sorry. I'm not a pumpkin spice person. Oh, pumpkin spice. <laughs> well, yeah. We'll see how that goes over. Um, and Shift Shop is like introducing new workouts and stuff in October. So there's so much coming. And, and I continue to like share that in my posts. It's an amazing time to be a coach. It's an amazing time to join this opportunity. This business is growing bigger and better than ever. Carl said at Summit, we've now broken into the Latino market with Mes de Mas. Hopefully soon we can do more. We can be present in other countries besides UK, Canada, and US that are Spanish speaking. So who knows, maybe Mexico is coming. Maybe we're going to reach out to some other countries that maybe we can go, can we go to Spain? Like, oh my gosh. Can, but like, like on a trip too, yeah. can we go to Spain? <laughs> like if we do Spain next year, we, I will totally set up a way for us to be there at the launch and <laughs> we can like go to, that would be glorious. Anyway. Um, but amazing opportunities, share that with people, tell people that, encourage them to, you don't have to be an active coach, sign up as a coach and try it out for a month and see what you think. And then we'll get you, we'll go from there. So, um, so diamond five-star elite pushing for bigger goals. We can do this. Sarah said two-star diamond. Two diamond by summit. Sarah, that means you're going to be one star by the end of the year. Deep breath. We got this. You got this. Um, it's doable. It is possible. It's achievable. Some girl at Summit went from Emerald to 15 star in 12 months. That's, that's ridiculous. So, yeah, right? All right, guys. That's all I got. I'll post the recording in a little bit. Sarah, whatever. <laughs> Wait, can I ask a question real quick? Yeah. Am I, am I an idiot or is Blitz for in the app yet or it's not in the app until July? Not in, not in the I app. Oh, July term. Okay. Not in the app until July 16th. Um, they may launch it like a day or two early just so okay. everybody can get in there because I think that's what they did with 80 Day Obsession. Like it was... It was up there, but the workouts didn't come out until the 16th. So um, it, it'll come. Just making sure. I thought maybe there were a couple of days that I didn't lug my computer down to the basement. But, um, no. You might have. You can stream. Just the, just the, yeah. Yeah. You can stream the other one from the thing, but not the, the thing. Um, not the app. Yeah. I'm a mess. I need to drink my coffee. That whole cat scenario just totally rocked my morning and I'm just all sorts of it out. So, all right, guys. Well, have an awesome day. Enjoy your weekend. Um, we will not convene next Saturday because of Super Saturday. Um, and this week with it being a holiday is going to be a little bit difficult, but maybe we'll just pop in and do some lives and stuff like that. Um, and if anybody has any questions and stuff, post them in the team. I'll come up with a couple posts this week um, as far as next step groups and a calendar. If anybody has anything they want to add to that, um, please let me know and um, let's rock it out. Let's go. All right, guys. I'm taking a picture today. What? Take the picture today. Oh. Yeah, we
should do that, huh? Tracy's like, hold on, let me get set. Hey, Tracy. <laughs> let me get my camera. Let me get my remote over here. Oh, fair, fair. Okay, hey, hey. <laughs> He's like a dumb, wet towel on my back. And I'm not gonna lie, my husband is gonna be home in 30 minutes and he's been gone since Tuesday and I am really excited. <laughs> Break. <laughs> All right, everyone say cheese. There we go. Okay, look at you, Sarah. Thank you. You and stuff in Canada. <laughs> Go recruit some Canadian coaches. <laughs> I said that. I was like, do you think I could find one? Like, maybe I'll just bring my beach body stuff to the rink. You should. You. You should be a coach. <laughs> you have Hi, Bria. You have packets with you? Yeah. Bring your packets with you. It's vegan chocolate. They'll probably look at me like, what? No. <laughs> <clears throat> you got this. Three new coaches by the end of the day. <laughs> Canadians. Canadians. All right, guys. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Would you like some?